everybody. I am doing another live drawing broadcast. <clears throat> if you caught my one from the other night, I was drawing my three favorite celebrities to draw in succession, and that was number three, Mr. T, number two, Prince, and number one, Batman. Um, so if you caught that, you saw me transform those, but I was thinking about what to do for my next live drawing broadcast, and I thought, well, gosh, why don't I see if I can keep this drawing going? Because last time I did this, I drew one, then erased pieces of it, drew the next person, erased pieces of it, and then eventually wound up with Batman, who is my favorite celebrity to draw. So I am going to keep working with this drawing and see what I can turn it into. won't necessarily be another celebrity, and I apologize for the autofocus on this. I've noticed, oh yeah, by the way, um, since I'm reasonably new to Periscope, I'm still learning different ways to rig this up so you guys can see what I'm doing, and I literally have it on top of a cereal box right now so you can see what's going on, but it does tend to autofocus a little bit, so try not to get too seasick with that. But we're just going to erase a little bit of the cape and see what we can turn it into. Ooh, and hopefully I won't knock this over and knock you guys down. But, uh, yeah, what kind of cereal? Oh, Frosted Flakes! Oh, that's Michael Morris! How are you? Do you go by Michael or do you go by Mike? I want to know what to call you since, since we're becoming friends. You're my actor from Sarasota, right? Well, not my actor from Sarasota, but you're the, the actor from Sarasota. Okay, cool. Do you go by Mike or by Michael? Or you want to pick something else? Anyway, it's nice to see you. I am up here in Tampa <clears throat> where it is currently raining again and I mean I draw all the I draw all the time but it's raining in Sarasota. Yeah, you know, I can't complain about the rain too much. I mean, I'm from Chicago, which is the land of of uh you call you Mike? Okay, I will call you Mike. Fantastic. I like meeting a new friend. I I love creative people. I love uh I love actors and and artists of of all type. Acting is is something that I've never tried. That is not my thing at all. I have a uh, yeah, it's starting to pour down here. My pool is about to uh to overflow, which is totally first world problems. But uh you know, it's Florida. A lot of people have pools here. This is starting to look like Bane, actually, which is not what I was going, is not what I'm going for. I have, actually, I admit I didn't have a lot of preconceived ideas of what I was going to draw here, but I um, had a little bit of idea when we first started talking. But I'm, I'm kind of loving Periscope, though. I did one at work yesterday, which somebody was telling me that that kind of kills the... Uh, the Wi-Fi, so hopefully I won't get in trouble for that, because I'm, I'm at home right now, so if I, can, if I kill the Wi-Fi, it's my own problem in this particular case. So we'll get this going, get this going. I need to ink one of these, too. I, uh, I normally draw when I, <clears throat> when I first get up. I do this thing called um, Cockadoodle Doodles, which I started... I think I might have talked about this on a previous broadcast, but I started that, gosh, two years ago, I think, and I draw every single every single day. Usually first thing in the morning, although in the past year I've started drawing them in the evening. Like I'll start them out and then I'll just ink them or I'll add color in the morning. And it's kind of neat to watch them to watch them develop. It's sort of like a form of meditation. I have tried to do traditional meditation, and I, I just, I don't know, I don't have it, I don't have it in me. I'll keep trying, but it's just really hard for me to just sit down and shut the hell up for a few minutes, which is why I think this is probably the perfect, the perfect medium for me. But um, I'll flip this. Now, see, it's starting to look like something. And I hear a lot of people sing on the, oh yeah, that's the other thing that's become super popular on Periscope is um, people who sing the comments and like turn them into a song as they come in. Have you guys seen that? 
ever heard that? Some people are definitely better at it than, than others, but that seems to be something that's super, super popular right now. I think musicians do particularly well on Periscope. I have a friend who is a, a dueling pianos guy who actually, he's, God, he's incredible. He does voiceover work and uh, incredible piano player, things like that, and he's just getting back into it. So I'm going to try to get him out here and get him doing a broadcast because, my goodness, he's just... He's amazing, and he's super entertaining. He does impressions and all kinds of stuff like that. He does one that I steal all the time. Like, he would combine... Like, he can legit do impressions of people, but the best are when he combines them. Like, he would do Yoda doing an impression of Marv Albert, which is brilliant, so it's like, oh, yes, counts, it does. Which is... And he's way, way better than me. I do a couple of impressions, but I don't do any very well. I can do, well, I can do that one, which is like kind of a weak Yoda. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Let me turn this so you can see it. Discovering musicians from around the world. I know it's great, isn't it? Seeing how many, like how many musicians are out here. I mean, it's so cool because you can hear them play and you can, and you can see them and then, you know, actually interact with them. And it's great. I've, I've followed a few comedians too out here who they're they're just killing it they're great um, i'm gonna erase my signature here too because bert uh bert kreischer is out here and he records pretty regularly he's a tampa guy too and god i love bert i would love for him to be a to be a neighbor he's god he's so freaking funny and he's one of those people where you hear him laugh and you just god you just can't you can you can't help but laugh because he's got this crazy high pitched laugh. Bert did, Bert's recording right now. Oh man, I wouldn't blame anybody leaving for going to watch Bert. He's so freaking funny. I love him on uh, on Trip Flip. I used to watch Bert the Conqueror and all that kind of stuff. I've never actually seen his his stand up. He's good friends with one of the local radio guys out here, Mike Calta, who I also follow. He's also very funny. He's a good follow too. Um, but Bert, he's just like, he gets super excited and we'll just, he'll go, ah, and just like get this crazy high pitched sound and this laugh. And he's just, he's great. You see enough of Bert? <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. Gosh, I'd love to do a joint, uh, a joint broadcast with Bert. I remind him he's so funny. Bert will actually let you let you see him. For the first time yesterday, I tried a broadcast where I had the uh, the camera on myself, so you guys could see what I look like, which isn't all that interesting to me because I mean, I see myself every day. I know what it looks like, um, but it is a little bit weird because um, yeah, my cow, he's good, isn't he? It's hard to not call him Cowhead because I know he he switched off from that, but. He's very funny. I love Galvin. I like when when they do the sing along with Galvin. That's my favorite. Cuz I love when he gets up there and he'll do some some Dio or, or something like that. Cuz he just knows it. And well, he does open letters too just about things that annoy him. He's great. I love him. He's he's my favorite. I mean, I love Mike, but I uh I I really love Galvin. He's awesome. They're all great. I'm glad they're on in the mornings again, even though I don't know how they keep that schedule. But um, I'm I'm glad they're on in the morning because I can hear them again. I'm a graphic designer, so uh, I actually go into an office in downtown Tampa most days, so I get to listen to them on my way to work, and I and I love it. But all right, so you can see where we're going with this. All right, we're gonna gonna finish this off, and I'll probably ink this one and, and post it on Instagram. I think, like I saw that you're following me on Instagram. Now I followed you back too. What kind of acting do you do? Just out of curiosity, I don't think we talked about that. Are you are you a theater guy or do you do tell me what kind of, what kind of acting do you do? Because that's really something, I mean, to be able to, to get up in a stage, oh, wow, so that's like, so you're the real thing. Because that's, you, it's so funny because you hear actors 
to talk about um, what they what they do and <clears throat> and certainly people who do film and and who do TV are always like I want to be on stage because it's so visceral and immediate you know because you're on stage and it's it's all live you know it's you can't edit that <laughs> so it takes a special kind of person to be able to to do that so my hat is definitely off to you for that I would I don't know if I'd, I'd want to be a stage actor I would love to be uh, I'd love to build the sets though I think that would be really really fun you can see where I'm going with this you got started in your 30s Oh, okay what drew you to it, if you don't mind me asking? What what drew you to uh, to acting, to want to be an actor? And I think some people are just are just born with it. I mean, I know with with me, I've been drawing as long as I can remember. I mean, started out as a young a young kid and just you know continued with it. Great question, long answer. Okay, well, that means you're going to have to record one of these probably and give the answer to everybody. <laughs> and sometimes there's nothing, I, you know, it's funny, especially with creative people. Sometimes there's there's nothing that draws you to it specifically. I think it's it's something that you feel sometimes. Like you're just like, this is this is it. This is what I'm meant to do. And that's just, that's just the way it is. And, and you know... I think we all have that, and you can't really control when you're when you're going to find that. But I think you always have to keep looking for it. Not that I'm trying to turn this into a, like a tone, whole Tony Robbins kind of deal. Not that I'm saying anything bad about Tony Robbins. I think he's built an amazing empire, and I've read a couple of the books. I mean, he's he's very very inspirational, and he's a big dude too. Like he's an imposing. Presence. I've never met him, but I think he would probably be pretty interesting to talk to. I think his his son is in the uh, in the same space too. I think he's doing motivational stuff, which which surprises me a little bit because, gosh, you know, when your dad's like the man in there, do you really want to uh, to follow in that? And well, I guess he does. So we're gonna open this up a little bit more. You can see obviously what I've done is we've got Batman and we've turned it into a rocket. There's an artist, artist in us all and not everyone wants to acknowledge it. Boy is that the truth. It really is. I think I think what holds a lot of people back from that too, a lot of it is fear. I think you know people are afraid that it's it's got to be Perfect. I was talking to some friends about this too, and man, if you wait for it to be perfect, it ain't gonna happen. It's just because it's never, it's never gonna be perfect. And I think some people fight it. That's true. I think some people definitely, you know, fight being being a creative because let's be real, that is just not, you know, it's not necessarily always the uh, the most solid career path. Um, funny story. While I'm finishing this up. Uh, when I was I was going to school to high school before college, I was you know we were looking at different ways to to pay for college because you know didn't have a a ton of money. We were sort of in that bracket where I wasn't getting a whole bunch of financial aid, but we really didn't have a lot of money to to send me you know and to to like the Art Institute of Chicago, which is where I wanted to go. Is this autofocus killing you guys? Gosh, I just realized that it keeps focusing and refocusing on it. So sorry about that. I'll try to figure that out, but. Anyway, back to the story, um, we're looking at ways to to pay for school, and unbeknownst to me, my mom set up to have a recruiter from the military come to the house, which would have been fine had I known about it, um, but, you know, I came home from school one day, and we've got, you know, a military dude there to talk to me about options of if I went into the military and the GI Bill and all that, and, and it's a great program. Um, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't really mentally prepared to think about going into the military at that particular moment. But, you know, so be it. Um, so we, we talked about it, and I I remember him looking at me and saying, he's like, oh, cool, well, what do you, you know, what do you want to go into? 
And I remember saying, art. And if there had been like a Foley sound effects person there, you would have just heard, wah, wah. Like, <laughs> he just looked at me. And I mean, being a recruiter, what could he possibly say? But he, uh, he did. <laughs> He didn't. He didn't seem very excited, or, or like he would have a a place for me. But you know, and so yeah. Well, it was funny now, but at the time, oh man. And I told my dad about, it and he's like, "What happened?" Because he had no idea that this happened. Um, but yeah, so you know, the military didn't necessarily necessarily want me, but it worked out great because I found another school. I wound up going to uh, Columbia College art school in Chicago and trained to be a graphic designer and an illustrator and you know wound up getting my first job working for believe it or not a real estate brokerage in downtown Chicago I met my my mentor and good friend to this day and and learned a ton and that eventually led me to to where I am now and and it's been great so you know it all happens for a reason but golly he just, yeah, they weren't, they weren't feeling having an artist in the military. Maybe back in the day when, you know, everybody drew those, uh, like the propaganda folders or pop, propaganda posters and stuff. Like, I could get down with drawing up Uncle Sam. Absolutely. You know, I don't know if I could uh, necessarily recruit because I just don't know that much about it. But GI Bill and all that, they're great programs. I'm not knocking that at all. I just can tell you that they... That they didn't want me, so they didn't get me. That's okay, and the country's probably a safer place um, because of that. So, okay, so I think I'm about done here, but you can see where, let me see if I can move it. Oh, sorry about that. Move this off of the, the box so you can see it a little bit more. Um, and gosh, I hope that Periscope will eventually support horizontal drawing. I know this is kind of weird, but... Uh, we went from Batman, who, let's see, this was probably his his chin in here, and turned it into a rocket with a cat in it, and then it's a little bit of a tribute to uh, to George Millais, who did A Trip to the Moon, one of my one of my favorite movies. It was a silent film. I forget the date, but uh, but it's it's pretty amazing, and you you see this iconic scene all the time of the of the rocket going to the moon and hitting the moon in the eye. So if you haven't seen that, definitely look it up. It's it's incredible. He was definitely ahead of his time and did some did some amazing things and and you know that's I, I try to take influence from all kinds of things and certainly from film and from other artists and and things like that. So it's great. Oh yeah, and here's my here's my stand. If anybody needs a periscope stand, give it a try. You want your career to launch like this, like on Periscope? I think it's a great way to do it. You know, I'm surprised not a lot of people who uh, are launched like a rocket into the moon, possibly. Your career could launch like a rocket into the moon. But it's uh, it's a pretty cool medium. Yeah, with a cat in it. Hopefully you like cats. <laughs> but it's it's fun. It's, it's a pretty cool medium. I love to talk to people on it. I, I draw all the time anyway, so I figure why not record it. So hopefully we'll keep getting better and better at it and figure out good times to do it so we can, you know, get even more people in here and checking things out. And I know a lot of people check it out on the replay too, so it's kind of nice that it stays up for 24 hours so everybody can see it. So that is today's live draw. Uh, we'll be back. Maybe we'll do one later. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow, but I'll have to think about you'll buy this one okay well let me finish it I'll tell you what I'm gonna ink it and add some color and I'll have it up on Instagram in the morning this will be uh, this will be tomorrow's drawing but it was it was a lot of fun hanging out with you guys I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you on the next one